Weather forecast now, and B joins us in the studio. It's getting a fair amount of cloud across the southwest today. A few places, particularly along the north coast of Cornwall, north coast of Devon, have seen some sunshine, but for most it's been reasonably cloudy. And tomorrow we'll keep a fairly solid layer of cloud across the top of us. It will be quite low, so we'll see some mist and fog. Rain at times, but it is slowly getting milder, even warmer as we head across the weekend. Out there at the moment, we've got this weather front bringing more cloud and outbreaks of rain. That rain's starting to push in to the far west of Cornwall, the Isles of Scilly, through the early hours of the morning. And that will give all of us, I think, a spell of fairly heavy rain through the day tomorrow. It does start to clear towards the afternoon, so some dry weather here, albeit quite cloudy. But by Friday, that's cleared out of the way, so it should be dry. I think there will be a lot of cloud on Friday, particularly to start the morning with, but that should break up to give some decent sunny spells into the afternoon. And then as we head towards the weekend, things should start to warm up a little bit. Out there tonight, we've got a fair amount of cloud. Perhaps the odd spot of drizzle. Most places will be dry with this more persistent rain pushing in towards the very end of the night. Staying misty, murky, a lot of low clouds, some fog along the coast and over the high ground, but not as cold as last night. Temperatures down at around 7 or 8 degrees. So a grey start, rain not too far away. It will be heavy at times. There is a risk of some thunder as well, but it does clear out of the way eastwards by lunchtime, clearing most parts of the southwest. Still remaining quite misty, though, still remaining cloudy, but actually a little bit warmer, particularly if you do see some spells of brightness. Temperatures could hit 15 degrees. The Isles of City, I think, will start off quite wet, but the rain should be clearing here around lunchtime. I think here we could see the odd bright spell as we head through the afternoon. Here are your times of high water. We've got roughly 11 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock, your high tide in the evening. So if you're heading to the coast, it is going to be quite cloudy, quite damp and drizzly as well, with that rain clearing from west to east through the course of the day. Perhaps a few dry spells into the afternoon, but for most of us, it is going to stay quite overcast. Then as we head through Friday, I think we'll see things start to dry up. So a lot of cloud on Friday to begin the day with, but we should see some decent sunny spells come the afternoon. And we start to get milder air pushing in. So 16, perhaps even 17 degrees we could reach through Friday and Saturday. Saturday, probably the best of the days, the bank holiday weekend, mainly dry with some decent sunny spells and warmer. Sunday, slightly cooler, still warm enough there where you get some brightness, but the risk of some thundery showers. And then as we head into next week, drying up, brightening up and still staying quite warm. Victoria. B, thanks very much. That's it from us tonight. There are further news stories on our BBC News websites for you to peruse. And uh, we hope to see you again at 6.30 tomorrow from all of us here. Good night.